the danger of my life. World War I Between 1914 and 1918, the First World War took place, also known as the Great War, proving one of the bloodiest events in universal history. It left around 15 million victims, military and civilians. But what were the causes of this unprecedented world event? To understand the origin of the conflict, we must go back several years. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the European political atmosphere was troubled due to the prevailing nationalism in each country. Everyone wanted to increase their power to dominate the world. This is why the African and Asian colonies became so important. Great Britain, France and Germany ruled the world due to their colonial policy. And they were not willing to give up on them or their resources. At the same time and consequently, a strong arms competition arose. If they wanted to be part of the great world powers, they had to have an arsenal to match the circumstances. They were also fighting to gain dominance in the international arms trade. The period is known as armed peace. That is, although there were no wars, all the countries were armed in silence. As we will see later, all this caused the war to become the bloodiest and most devastating warfare ever known. In time, the relations between France and Germany were strained. In 1870, France had lost the territories of Alsace in Lorraine against Germany. Later, the German Chancellor Otto von Bismarck, with the desire to isolate France, created the League of Three Emperors, along with the Austro-Hungarian and Russian empires. However, this union was dissolved in 1878 due to the confrontation between Russia and Austro-Hungary in the Balkans, though the latter consolidated their alliance with Germany, which Italy later joined, forming the Triple Alliance. On the other hand, the relations between Germany and Russia cooled down, and France took the opportunity to become involved with the Russian Tsar in 1894, in 1904 in Bundum, France, and in 1907 in Germany, Russia. Establishing the Triple Entente, militarization was evident, and mistrust reigned in the environment. With the creation of these two great sides, the conflict was served. Let us recap. On the one hand, we had the Triple Alliance, formed by Germany, Italy, and the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And on the other, the Triple Entente, with Great Britain, France, and Russia in front. However, the definitive trigger was the murder of Archduke Francisco Fernando, and to the throne of Austria-Hungary by a Bosnian Serb nationalist during his visit to Sarajevo. At that moment, the events happened. Be careful not to lose yourself. Austria-Hungary blamed Serbia for the attack, and on July 28, knowing that he had the support of Germany, he declared war on Serbia. Russia supports Serbia. And on August 1st, Germany declares war on Russia. And on August 2nd, German troops cross the Luxembourg border. And thus declaring war on France on August 3rd. That same day, the war was a fact. And the British foreign minister spoke these words. The lights go out now all over Europe. It may happen that we never see the lights again. On August 4th, Great Britain declared war on Germany by not respecting the neutrality of Belgium by trying to pass its troops through this country. On August 10th, the Austro-Hungarian Empire attacked Russia, and consequently on August 12th, Britain and France declared war. On August 23rd, Japan, which had signed an alliance with Great Britain in 1902, declared war on Germany, and on August 25th, Austria declared war on Japan. Italy, despite being part of the Triple Alliance, remained neutral until 1915. But let's not anticipate events. You could say that in September 1914, all Europe was at war. All countries took up arms. Germany had 1,913,850 men on the front. Austria-Hungary with 160,000. Russia with 2 million Napoleon. And England's strong point was its naval fleet and the indigenous soldiers of the colonizing armies. This began a war that they believed would last for a few weeks. But that lasted for years, three months and 14 days. In this war, the use of the machine gun and of the cavalry and platoons were created. French warfare introduced the use of mortar, and artillery multiplied calibers and ranges. The fricating gases were used, leading to chemical warfare. The concept of air warfare arose here, where battles were also fought with airplanes. In turn, the bombardment plane was created and initiated to the conflict. At the same time, the confrontation took to the sea. The British Army had naval supremacy, and Germany wanted to end it. Therefore, the Germans implemented the use of their submarines, destroying many British ships until Britain found a way to counter its losses, also attacking submarines. With all these novelties, the war of rapid and sudden movements began. The Germans developed the Chaffin plan to invade France from Belgium, 
If I were the German troops, we'd go to the right to distract. Well, the bulk would press down the left wing to get to Paris. However, the plan did not go as expected. This part of the German troops came to the aid of Austria-Hungary to stop the Russian advance. For its part, the French Navy developed Plan 17. It consisted of attacking, with for French armies the German forces, and reserve an army for defence. Although they managed to contain the enemy troops, 80 kilometres from the French capital, rapid German movements followed the plan as an offensive manoeuvre. At this point, the Battle of Marne took place, the first great battle of this war. It was vital to achieve the German war. Another of the first great battles was that of Ypres. In it, the Germans wanted to control the coast of the English Channel to block England. The Allies defeated them, but the Germans established a front to isolate Britain. While on the eastern front, Germany sells the Russian advance in the Battle of Tannenberg. But still, and despite the efforts of the Central Front, Russia advanced to Krakow. By the end of the first year of war, Serbian capital Belgrade had fallen into the hands of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. However, thanks to the Russian army threatening Budapest, Austro-Hungary withdrew from Belgrade and the Serbs were able to recover it. All these initial movements ended up stagnating in the trenches. The Germans created the Hindenburg Line, the front of more than 700 kilometers of trenches from the Nazi to the Swiss border, which remained practically static for two years. It blocked the advance of troops on the Western Front. Therefore, on this front there were small offensives, in which 200,000 men died, who had advanced a little more than half a kilometre of land. Neither of the two blocks carried out decisive attacks until 1916 at the Battle of Merdian. Despite how bloody and long it was, the Germans stayed at the gates of the city. These had to come to defend the area of the Sassong River from the British attack. In 1915, on the Eastern and Balkan Front, Russia was withdrawing within its territory before the German advance. In addition, Bulgaria entered the war in favor of the Central Empires, allowing them to invade Serbia, Montenegro, and Albania. In 1916, Russia and Romania failed to stop the Austrian and Bulgarian advance that invaded Romania almost entirely. At the same time, Italy, which had remained neutral until now, entered the war in 1915 in favor of the Allies and occupied austro hungarian territories. On May 31, 1916, the Battle of Jutland was fought. A major naval showdown between the British Great Fleet and the German High Seas Fleet. Great Britain came out victorious, demonstrating her superiority, as the Germans broke the blockade and introduced submarine attacks into their strategy. In fact, in May 1915, a German submarine torpedoed a British civilian cruise ship, in which 1,200 people died, among which 128 were US citizens. This event strained US relations with Germany. But when on January 16, 1917, a telegram was discovered in which Germany proposed an alliance to Mexico to attack its neighbor. The United States declared war on the Imperial powers. This marked a new turning point in the war. The United States began preparing supplies and troops to land in Europe and assist the United Kingdom and France. While the English carried an offensive on Flanders to neutralize the German submarine bases in Belgium. For their part, the French maintained their forces over the Britain and Champagne areas. At this point of the confrontation, all the countries had their internal problems. Citizens were fed up with the cruelty of the war, its duration, and the shortage of supplies, leading to numerous strikes and mutinies. But the country harvested in this regard was Russia. In early 1917, the internal conflict was in full swing. The war and its defeats was excessively punishing the Russian people, causing its despair. After the two revolutions which weakened, tell you more details in another door of my life. The Russia was coming to an end. Once later, the Bolsheviks took control, and Russia came out of the war, signing the armistice with Germany by means of the brest Treaty in March 1918. Now the Allies were focused on recovering Macedonia from the Bulgarian hands. They landed in Greece, and after the Battle of Dobropol, Bulgaria was defeated and signed an armistice. Then they liberated Romania from Austro-Hungarian control. The Serbs recovered their capital, Belgrade, and the Italians took Albania. These had been defeated by the Austrians at the Battle of Cape Rodeau. But later they regained their strength and gained ground. In addition to the defeats, the Austro-Hungarian Empire suffered the uprising in various areas of its territory supported by the Allies. But in October 1918, the new state, Czechoslovakia, was established. The Slavic peoples of the South, together with the Serbs from the Kingdom of Serbia, and Hungary became independent. The empire was falling apart, and in November 1918, Austria-Hungary signed the armistice with the Allies, and the Republic of Austria was created. 
At the same time, the Ottoman Empire, also a German ally, was on the ropes. Britain was helping Arabia to revolt from Turkish rule. Along with the famous Lawrence of Arabia, many British troops attacked from Iraq and the Middle East. With Jerusalem and Baghdad taken, the Ottoman Empire surrendered. Now let's go back in time and go to the Western Front. In March 1918, the Germans unleashed their great final offensive in France. They started successfully, and in July they had advanced on the Marne, being 50 kilometers from Paris. But thanks to the support of the American troops, the Allies managed to stop the advance in the Battle of Chateau Thierry. Then in July 1918, the Allies launched a counterattack in the Second Battle of the Marne, and the weakened German troops withdrew. The Allies continued the attack on Amiens, unleashing the Second Battle of the Somme. As early as September, the Germans were forced to retreat behind the Lindenburg Line. They were being pressured and cornered, both by their enemies and by their own soldiers and citizens. Though in November all their fronts were fractured, and internal protests followed one another, and Kaiser William II abdicated. On November 11, Germany signed the armistice, ending a long war and giving victory to the Triple Entente. On June 28, 1919, the final end of war agreement was signed, the Versailles Treaty, in that the victorious countries recognized Germany and its allies as responsible for the war, imposing territorial, military, moral, political, and economic sanctions. Germany was obliged to reduce its army and armament and compensate the rest of the countries for the damage caused. Also lost its colonial and European territories. It was implemented on January 10, 1920. It generated a deeper hatred and planted the seed of the Second World War, the history of the great European empires, the German, the Russian, the Austro-Hungarian, and the Ottoman had come to an end, and the new countries were in ruin. A stronger nationalist sentiment was created. In short, in World War I, 65 million people fought, of whom 8.5 million died. Pavilion casualties approached 7 million, were tied farmland in cities across Europe. In addition, great epidemics of diseases were unleashed. Did you know that Germany finished paying its Versailles Treaty debts in 2010? Leave us in the comments what other stories you would like us to tell you in my life. And subscribe if you're a scholar. Until the next video.